I've got Roger and Rachel here. How are you? Oh, uh, well, thanks. Good. Very good. Thank okay. you. Vice President and President of Conference. That's right, isn't it? That's, That's what correct. This year. Yeah, yeah. Near the end, right? Yeah, we we can see the landing strip. It's <laughs> uh, just a little bit over the way. Excellent. Tell us a little bit. It'd be great for the guys who are watching to hear a little bit about what you guys have been up to this year. Some highlights. Rachel, why don't you start us with some highlights? Oh, it's, it's hard to know where to begin, to I be know, honest. I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, well, we, we have three things to do during the course of the year. Okay. So we have a kind of leadership role. So we, we preside at the Methodist Conference, which is the decision making body. And that was that was an amazing experience, actually. Yeah. And then we have a, a representational role. So whenever the Methodist Church speaks out or you have to have, have the face of Methodism doing something, that tends to be me and Roger. So we've gotten some very interesting places there. And then probably the best bit is uh, visiting. We get to see what's happening in Methodist churches around the country what God is doing right. um, and, and that's been a huge privilege actually learning yeah. and hopefully encouraging people a bit. Hey what's some of your highlights Roger? what have you done this year? Okay so um, what Rachel says is absolutely right that in one sense every every visit is a highlight yeah. so it's difficult to pick them out but absolutely. just to say oh, last week we we're in London and the contrast is really interesting in the work we do so um, so we uh, spent one day with the uh, chaplains at Tilbury uh, Docks oh, yeah and uh, and we're looking at what they're doing and how they relate to people. Uh, and with that, we looked at the Siemens mission that's been there since about 1840 and how it's developed into a community supporting uh, seafarers. Okay. Uh, many of them retired now, um, but supporting them, creating a community for them. Uh, and then we went to see the new oh. docking area, uh, which is further down, wow. which is virtually run without humans there. Mm. So everything's done automated, um, and it won't be long, we think, before even the lorries that come in every nine seconds uh, to unload their containers or wow. to pick up containers that they'll be they will be self-driven. So they, yeah. yeah, wow. And uh, so, so in a sense, we we were engaged with that, and then the next day we did the Wesley Trail. Wow. Because it was Wesley Day, 24th <laughs> yeah, yeah, of May, and uh, we went to all the sites uh, ar around London, starting in St Paul's yeah, nice. uh, and ending at Wesley's tomb, uh, and um, proclaiming and sharing with anybody who was interested wow. um, on this little pilgrimage, something about how hearts yeah. are strangely warmed. Um, so, right. so Love it's that. been every week. It's yeah. a bit like that. Fantastic contra contrast. And it's been an interesting year for the the country, of which you've probably seen and been a part of speaking. I've seen your statements about uh, Rachel's That's for right. you because you're involved in kind of issues, public issues. Mm. What, how, have, what have you seen about the church that's excited you this year? Seems like a really important time for the church to be involved in a public sphere. What have mm. you seen and what are you excited about? You, you're year? right. I think that's been a, a huge part of, of this year for us. We've, Roger and I have been able to make statements around around Brexit and major events like that, but we've seen what the church is doing locally. So um, everywhere, I don't think we've been anywhere actually, and the church hasn't been um, active. So, you know, all sorts of things from, you know, community cafes and food banks. Um, there was a cafe we went to on the Isle of Man where they were um, doing free English lessons. No uh, it was just wonderful Great. to see. Everywhere, the church is involved in local communities, responding to the needs that they see and building relationships. And it's just br brilliant to see the church having that, that place and that witness and offering God's love all over the country. That's I don't awesome. think we've been anywhere where it's not happening. I and to that. see at a time when, when you know the world and our country is uh, uncertain and unsure, to have the church being willing to, to get involved in that way is just so encouraging. I love that. Roger, you're here at Cliff Festival this weekend. Is it your yeah. first time? It's the first time at the festival, yeah. I've been Great. to Cliff a few times, but not, not to the festival. festival. What are you doing this week? What are you doing here So this I'm preaching tomorrow um, right. in the celebration in the morning, um, and uh, Rachel will be part of that service too. Right. And what about you, Rachel? You're doing a seminar as well. I'm, I'm doing a seminar, seminar with um, the artist Rick Stott, who painted yeah. the series of, of holiness and justice yeah. paintings that we've used so much. So they're exhibited here at Cliff. Yeah, they're up there. That's we saw right. Them. They're great. Yeah. Have a look if you're here. Yeah, they're absolutely yeah. fantastic. Yeah. Um, so we're going to be doing a seminar on art and activism. Wow. How, uh, Rick is very much the kind of uh, artist contemplative. I'm a bit more at the activist side, although not much as much as some people. Yeah. So we're going to talk about how, how being a Christian and being an artist or an activist actually relates. So I'm looking right. forward to that conversation. What will you go back to, Roger? What's next for you? Well, after whilst I've been out? away, they've been changing the district. So, um, so I left the West Yorkshire yeah. district. I shall go back to a different district okay. um, where West Yorkshire and Leeds will be combined right. um, and where we'll be forced a new district and a new direction for us uh, and um, and seeking to um, 
uh, energise churches and mission outreach That's service exciting. the community. And what's the one thing you've learned this year? What's the one thing you've learned as a person this year? I think I've been uh, deeply challenged by um, the way in which some of the Methodist people um, are giving themselves at really sacrificial levels um, to share the story, to be engaged right. uh, locally. So that's challenged me, and I think, and I think, um, what I want to do is I want to follow through on some of the uh, uh, ways in which we uh, sustain people right. who okay. are in that position, who yeah. are giving of themselves, yeah. and how they're fed, supported, prayed for. Because um, we felt this year mm. that we've been prayed for every day. And it's, it's sustained us yeah. through a really busy year. Yeah. And, uh, and that should be there for every Christian. Oh, right. That's awesome. Rachel, what about you? What will you go back to? Um, what I'm going back to is the day job that I've been trying yeah. to do this year with the Joint Public Issues team, perhaps giving them a bit more of my attention nice. this year. And also the family. I need yeah, to spend a bit more, more time with the kids. And what have yeah. you learned this year? What's the one thing you guys... Well, I think Roger's, Roger's right, and I'd, I'd agree with that. If, if, you, if you made me think of something else... Um, I think we need to change the story that we tell about ourselves as a okay. church. We are, we're very much yeah. aware of the, the tensions and anxieties within the Methodist Church at the moment, but we've been privileged to see another part of the story, and that is a story of, of energy for growth and energy mm. for commitment to our communities. How we find the way of releasing the resources, the people, as Roger's been talking about, yeah. and the financial resources, um, actually to... to to tell that story, yeah. I think, as well, is really, really important. Mm. Awesome. Thanks so much for coming by the studio, guys. Yeah. It's, no, great it's been a pleasure. Facebook, we will see you later on for more videos. Thank you. Bye.